Melania boards Marine One, liberals notice what she's wearing, meltdown ensues. President Donald Trump and his lovely wife Melania are currently in the midst of a European tour which first saw the pair attend the NATO summit in Brussels. But as soon as liberals saw what Melania was wearing when she boarded Marine One, a meltdown of epic proportions ensued. President Donald Trump, accompanied by First Lady Melania Trump, embarked on a European tour this week to attend the NATO summit in Brussels. Trump's objective at the summit is to pressure other members of the alliance, which was established in 1949 to counter the Soviet Union, to pay their fair share. According to the BBC, Trump has charged that the U.S. is being taken advantage of by other NATO members who consistently fail to meet their defense spending goals, expecting the U.S. to pick up the tab. Meanwhile, those same countries who fail to spend just 2% of their GDP on defense are cutting hugely lucrative trade deals with countries like Russia, creating a massive trade deficit for America. It's time for the U.S. to stop scratching their backs when they refuse to scratch ours in return. Obviously, this week's NATO summit in Brussels is very important and quite possibly will have some serious ramifications. But, instead of focusing on all of this actual news, the mainstream media would like you to know that Melania Trump wore a designer pair of heels when she boarded Marine One to kick off the trip. Seriously. Melania Trump kicked off her husband's European tour wearing two different pairs of sky-high $795 pumps for the trip to Belgium, reported the NY Post. Leaving the White House on Monday, Melania wore an A-line skirt and a prim red sweater paired with so Kate Lou Boutons covered in a pattern inspired by the tan craft paper color of the brand's boxes and bags. She appeared to have changed the entire look on the plane and emerged in another pair of Lou Boutons, a classic black leather style, which were also 4.8 inches, and a structured Burberry trench coat. For some godforsaken reason, the usual liberals are melting down over Melania's shoes. Good grief. When Michelle Obama was the first lady, nobody gave a damn about her shoes. Do you recall any conservative outlets obsessing over her Converse or the signature flats she wore so as not to appear taller and more manly than her own husband? No. When the Obamas were in the White House, we were focused on the issues. When Obama attended a NATO summit, we reported on the NATO summit, not whatever hideous ensemble Michelle was wearing and there were so many hideous ensembles. Now that the Trumps are in charge, however, the media has reached a whole new level of petty. Instead of covering the president's very important overseas trip, they are attacking Melania's choice in shoes. You can be sure of one thing, though, when the press is nitpicking the first lady's shoe choice instead of reporting on what's really going down in Brussels, it's because Trump is doing a whole lot of winning they'd rather you didn't know about. Think about it. You can bet that if the president's overseas trip is a failure it would be all over the news. But the media is wasting headlines on Flotus heels. If Melania's shoes are the worst thing they can find.